Okay, hi, this is uh, Inko Johannes on Feed the Master from Iceland, and we're once again back with another game by Alpha Zero uh, from this fascinating match against Stockfish. Once again, Alpha Zero is the artificial intelligence program by Google's DeepMind. And yeah, without further ado, uh, you can read about it. Uh, I'll leave a link to the paper in the description. But as so often in this match, we have the Queen's Indian defense. Uh, not the same move order every time. Uh, Alpha Zero started with 1d4, which uh, I like because <laughs> I've been a d4 player most of my life. And this, you know, sticks a fork in all those e4 best by test guys. We'll have to see about that one, guys. The jury is still out. So d3, bishop b7, bishop d2. And we already saw this in the first game that we analyzed, so we're going to go quickly here to uh, the spawn sacrifice, d5, once again. White is sacrificing this pawn on d5, but uh, he's forcing black to capture it under perhaps not the best circumstances, and we get a nice knight here on f5. So white gets some initiative, and that has been, once again, a recurrent feature in the games. White is... Well, Alpha Zero is usually white. Alpha Zero is getting a good initiative uh, for pawns. E4 was played. And now perhaps, uh, I think D5 is the most common move here, and perhaps it should have been played, but Stockfish went with Bishop F6. And this has been played in a few games. Um, but none of them played Knight 6 here. Rookie 1 and Knight 3 had been played before, but... Stockwis went with, uh, sorry, Alpha Zero went with 96. Bishop is attacked, so it moved. Rook is attacked, so it moves. Logical moves. And now 98. So it's logical that Black wants to get rid of this knight. Because with the pawns here on d7 and c6, it's so hard to develop these pieces. Another theme that we've seen in the games that uh, Alpha Zero seems to be playing against the pieces, you know. For some, in, in some ways, playing for some kind of a silk swank, just, you know, pinning down the pieces. e5. Um, and knight takes d6. Uh, curiously, there are three games that have been played here, and in all of them, white took on d6 with a pawn. But Alpha Zero had other ideas. It took an f6, took the bishop. And seems to me that it's thinking long term. You know, there are plenty of open lines on the king side. And if we can activate this bishop somehow, knight c3 was played though, but if we can activate this bishop, let's say we get it on this diagonal, it's going to be a lovely diagonal. Uh, so knight c3 and knight b7, sorry for that, uh, accidentally hit some buttons, and now knight e4, bringing the knight closer to the king side. Once again, bad pieces, oops, sorry about that, bad pieces here, and... Alpha Zero tries to take advantage of that by bringing the pieces to the king side. And what happens now? If you're a fan of Chinchu GM, you know it. Harry, Harry, Harry is coming down the board. H4. So maybe Chinchu GM was right after all. This is the way to go. Push Harry. H6. And of course, push Harry. H5. And now we have a not so great queen here on H7. So. <laughs> In a way, all of the black pieces are bad. And now, once again, another aggressive move here by Alpha Zero, Queen G4. And to normal people, this, this looks strange because black can play F5. And uh, according to the rules that I know, this is a fork and uh, white will lose material. Now, this is just my guess. We don't know, but I think uh, Alpha Zero was willing to sacrifice this piece here. We're attacking the queen, so it must move to the corner. And now white can actually uh, play queen b3 check. And uh, that should be a draw. Queen b3, d5, takes, takes. And we're gonna give checks here while the king moves back and forth between these moves, what we call a perpetual, and that would be a draw. This is what Stockfish uh, is telling me, but I have a feeling that uh, Alpha Zero would have kept on playing against the pieces. Uh, 
so this is purely speculation but I think something like uh, oops like bishop g6 just pinning down the queen still we have these bad pieces so what can you do maybe bishop c4 try to uh, get some exchanges going get the bishop to f7 get it in the game rook can come to e7 active rook something like this knight d8 and maybe you know we can put the bishop here on b2 and white has excellent activity for the pieces for the piece it's only one piece and the pawn actually but uh, i think this is more like uh in the style of uh, what we've seen so far from alpha zero so pure speculation but uh, it's fun to speculate that's what we can do here but of course the threat is knight f6 check winning the queen so something must be done and stockfish parried that threat of knight f6 check by king h8 and now this move bishop g5 and yeah this is one of the moves that people have been talking about i think it was a chess space article that said that stockfish couldn't find this move uh running on very strong computers for uh i think it was like five hours maybe it was nine but for a long time before finding this move uh but once we show the move it, it starts to realize i think and this just looks really good for white now in the game black played f5 which again looks great we got uh attack on the knight attack on the queen attack on the bishop let's have a look at uh the logical move uh, to uh actually take here on g5 in that case knight takes g5 looks good and just to give you like uh, a sample here if uh you go queen h6 you have to reckon with uh, knight takes f7 check this is uh attacking king and queen so you kind of have to take it but then rook e8 and bishop e4 so there are plenty of pitfalls here i think the best move is queen to g8 but then uh something like this actually just looks very crossing for white uh and a sample line might go like this take the knight take the pawn with double check and the rules of chess are such that you have to meet a double check by moving a king if you're not checkmated and king h8 if you go to h7 we just bring the bishop into the game with bishop e4 so but anyway it's lost uh, it's made in a few moves actually a great line plenty of great lines here um but yeah um also it's interesting uh, to note that if black were to play a blank move such as d5 we can see white's threat with bishop f6 and the idea with bishop f6 and that's to play knight f6 now this you can't take of course because of bishop takes f6 this is made next move and in case of moving the queen queen c2 something like this is actually very violent and very uh, bad for black and if you want to have a look at the crazy line 98 check uh, you can take it you're, you're going to be down material but this is very cute here rookie six just carnage all over the board and if you take it queen c7 i'm going to give you a wee little mate here on g7 so yeah but okay let's go back to the actual game bishop g5 Stockish went with f5, which looks good. Looks like it's winning material. But not the knight on e4, because we're pinning this pawn here to the rook, if it can reach there. So now uh, knight c5 was played, but we can again ask, what if h takes g5? And this might have been uh, a chance to stay in the game, perhaps a bit longer. But uh, something like this with queen e5. And now we're threatening to take on f6. So I'll just say bishop c4, we take on f6, we take back, I take here. And white should end up in, in at, at least a better ending. Uh, crazy line might, might go like this, but uh, I, I don't want to go too deep here actually. So let's go back to the game. Queen f4, knight c5. And here bishop b7 was played. And now, now it's, it's too complicated. Knight d3. 
everything is attacked. The knight on e4, the queen on f4, the rook on e1. Uh, Alphazeter went queen d6, and now knight takes e1. So okay, let's. It's time to take take stock. After all, we're playing stockfish. So um, seven pawns for black, three for white. Everything else is equal except we're down a rook as well. So we're down rook and two pawns. So I guess we should take the rook, right? Mm. Wrong. We take the knight. Okay. Black copies takes a piece. So now we're down the rook. So let's take the rook, right? Mm. Wrong. Bishop takes e4. Attacking the queen. And now rook f5. So now if we take the, the rook, we're down a piece. And a pawn. But Alpha Zero just calmly retreats. Bishop h4. Nothing more natural. But again, note these guys sitting in the corner. So Bishop c4 trying to get the bishop into the game. g4. This will win the rook on f5. And note that Bishop e6 doesn't really help because I take and you can't take back because of the back rank. So therefore, rook d5 was tried here. So now if we take the queen, black will take our queen. So we take the rook. So now black is up a piece, but unfortunately everything is pinned down. This is pinned, this is pinned. And it, it's like Alpha Series is just rubbing it in Stockfish's face. Bishop g3. Just like, go ahead, make a move, I don't care. <laughs> Absolute carnage. Volume volume 4. C5, queen d5. This will pick up the rook. D6 took the rook, but now we get the knight finally out. Congratulations! And uh, yeah, queen e4, and we have the exchange of queens. And actually, the uh, interesting part of this game is is uh, more or less over. He took on a7 here, so white is off the exchange, and uh, black has only one pawn as compensation. And now that pawn is gone. Uh, Although, black is probably going to get the pawn on h5. But it's not so easy. We have pressure on g7. But like I said, uh, this is move 40. The game actually went uh, over 90 moves. Uh, but the interesting part is over. Now it, it's just a technical phase. White is winning. And let's just have a look at the final, final position. We're at move 40. If, if we go to like move uh, 86. We see it, it's still similar, but white is starting to mop up the pawns with the b5 pawn. And uh, eventually, after some maneuvering, uh, more pawns were dropping, king takes h3, etc. And uh, Alpha Zero won yet another game. So, yeah, again, uh, I welcome your comments and questions. Uh, I would also like to know, uh, people commented on, on my board, is this a better color? Or uh, did you like the old one? But again, yeah, if you want more games from the match, I'm more than willing to uh, provide them. And, and thanks for the feedback. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye-bye.